So I am back with yet another First Descendant video and in this video guys I showcase to you yet another incredibly good Kuiper Shard farm, XP for both your weapons and your Descendant, materials i.e. weapons that you ain't gonna need and you're gonna dismantle and it's also an incredible farm for those modules which as we all know when you dismantle those duplicates you get a bunch of Kuiper Shards too. Now this is definitely up there with the best in the game in my opinion and as we know they plan on buffing other farming spots outside of that Valby run farm so this one could indeed be now the new best. How's it going guys my name is DPJ and before we go any further guys to say a massive thank you for the amazing support I've had on this game I'm giving away ultimate descendants to you guys and as you know my giveaways are real unlike some. And well, the winner of last week's you're seeing on screen now. If this is you, hit me up on my Discord, link down below to claim your winnings. Now, do you guys also want to win? Well, if you do, it's as simple as this. I will pick one person on a weekly basis who I see who supports me by liking and commenting on my First Descendant videos. The more I see you, the more I have a chance you have of winning. Winners will be picked and announced at the end of the week, so good luck. Also, guys, join my Discord, link down below. Let's build an amazing First Descendant army over there. So I stumbled across this farm. I have yet to see anybody else even mention which is very very similar to the current most popular Valby farm that takes place within the fortress area within that zone recon mission and you're seeing this one on screen now. Well guys this one I found today is yet another zone recon mission and it almost acts exactly the same way the difference is it's in a much much smaller area but you more or less get the same in regards to output, in regards to the Kuiper shards, gold, materials. But you also seem to get way more module duplicates, which then themselves equal out into more Kuiper shards, which is what we all want. Now this is on Recon Mission Farm, although would no doubt be much, much better with Valby's here. It isn't limited to her. And you can still get decent numbers without Valby being here, but I won't lie to you. They won't be as good as what you will get with a couple of Valby's here, that is for sure. These farms are just perfect for her and her skills. So this one takes place guys within the sterile land and you want to come to this zone recon mission right here. Now I was testing this on my bunny who had not long reset so my health and defense was pretty low. So I had my pal jump in to help me out so we could actually test this properly with just one Valby who I will state his value wasn't actually set up properly for farming, but even still, our results were incredible. So this is our recon mission and how it works and the best way for you to actually get this done. So first things first, you take out the three points of A, B and C. You want to do these as fast as you can. The boss will then obviously spawn in within the center. Now you don't want to kill the boss. But what's good here, he does have phases to him, so you don't have to be that careful. What you do want to do is kill all the enemies around him make sure these are all out once this is done that tiny area just around him will basically just spawn an infinite amount of enemies the more you kill them the quicker you kill them the quicker they spawn back in and if you do this quick enough if you take out the three points a b and c and take out the enemies around the boss quick enough you'll have about two minutes 30 seconds of an infinite enemy spawn and like i said these are at your disposal. The quicker you can kill them, the quicker they do respawn in, meaning infinite amounts of shards, Kuiper shards, gold, materials, weapons, modules, you name it guys, it's utterly unbelievable. Now remember, we ain't killing the boss yet. We leave him alive and fail this zone recon mission after that time limit is up because we can then instantly restart it to repeat the farm back to back and just keep doing this on repeat over and over and over, clocking up that XP, clocking up those Kuiper shards, modules, weapons, materials, gold, you name it guys. Now what's great about this compared to the other one is like I said, it's a much, much smaller space, meaning more descendants in my opinion could use this to their advantage. A ranged bunny build will do some crazy things here too, just running around the center will kill all the enemies around it, there's no two which ways about that, that would work. But we were just testing as you're seeing on screen now uh, against the other farm, our results were more or less the exact same in regards to the Kuiper Shards and Gold. And the results you are seeing here do not reflect on what is possible here. 
That is an absolute fact and it needs to be mentioned. If you come here in a full team of Valbys, this would be utterly crazy. I actually think just two Valbys would be able to hold this area down, destroying all enemies before they even have a chance to move. And that's what you want for those maximum gains. Now on average here, I was getting between 13 and 17k Kuiper Shards every run. And each run takes three minutes, dead on, more or less. But because we're failing the zone recommission, you can start it instantly. So there's no cooldown whatsoever. So if you keep that in mind, I also want to add two. I'm adding no buffs to any of my gains here whatsoever. So let's say we are getting 15k every three minutes. That's 5k per minute. And that works out when you times 5,000 by 60, because 60 minutes in an hour, to around 300,000 Kuiper Shards per hour. And remember, this isn't anywhere near as efficient as this can be run. Not even close. Gold gains, I was getting around 200k per run. So that's around 4 million per hour. Uh, both weapon proficiency and descendant XP. I was getting what's basically 100k per run. Yes, you heard that right. So that's around 2 million XP for both your weapon and your descendant per hour. And again, guys, I wasn't running this anywhere near as quickly as what it can be done in regards to taking out the ads before they have a chance to move. I feel two Valbys here would be great for that. I mean, that's probably all you would need unless you have an incredible Valby build. You could probably solo this by yourself, kill all the enemies before they even spawn in. You would earn maximum gains here, that's for sure. And like I said, this one compared to the Fortress Zone Recon Kuiper Shard, which is now known as the Valby Run. I mean, the more or less the exact same farm, it's just this one's in a smaller area, so it's more compact, it's easy to take out all of the enemies, and I feel all in all, it may be better in the long run for more descendants, but that's just something that would have to be tested, because like I said, because all these enemies spawn in a small compact area, I can think of three or four other descendants besides Bonnie and Valby that this would be perfect for. So yeah guys, if this looks interesting enough for you, do check it out. Like I said, I stumbled upon this by accident really, just running around the area. Thought I'd check it out. Notice that it's basically the same as a Valby run farm, just in that smaller area. So I thought I'd give it a try, pulled my power in, and our results were incredible. And don't forget, with the 1.0.4 patch, they plan on buffing other great popular farming spots. So this one, if it does get a buff, will only get better so do keep that in mind too so yes guys there we have it for another first descendant video if you guys enjoyed it leaving a like really helps me out if you like what you see and want to see more be sure to subscribe do check out my discord link down below I'm trying to build a first descendant army over there so if you're looking for players to play with help with bosses if you need help with bosses do come over and check it out guys thanks as always for stopping by hopefully you enjoyed the video and hopefully i will see you on that next one